What's up guys, Shaka Daniel here. Um, I just wanted to come and give you guys my prediction on what's gonna happen in the next three months in cryptocurrency um, in 2016, meaning um, June, July, and August. Uh, first, I'm gonna start with the Bitcoin halving. In my prediction, uh, the price may rise before the halving just because of everybody's hype of the halving but it won't be necessarily the effects of the having, because um, if you look into it, even though the having would be on the 10th, uh, it still has to it has, still has to generate a certain amount of blocks until um, the effects kick in, meaning it has to generate a couple thousand blocks before it goes from 25 Bitcoin, Bitcoins in a block to 12.5. Uh, um, yeah, let me just get off that, leave that alone right now. I can make another video about that. But um, secondly, um, the ICO coins, we got a couple ICO coins coming out of their uh, ICO phase and into full launch. Uh, we have Lisk, which will be coming out um the 24th, which is in two days. Right now is May 22nd, 2016. It'll be coming out in two days on Tuesday. Uh, we have the DAO token, which will be available right after the ICO, ICO is done. And we have the WAVE tokens, which will be available right after the ICO is over. Um, in my opinion, excuse me, in my opinion, LISC, is going to be the most volatile of the three and i only say that because um everywhere i look and people's comments and it's just a bunch a lot of people just waiting to dump out of list um and if enough people dump out i don't know if they have plans and plans in place to set up a, a artificial buy wall uh, if Lisk team has a has a plan to do that, but if they do have a plan to do that, the way it's talk, people are talking, it might very well hit that buy wall, or even go below or lower than the buy wall. Mm, because I'm going on Reddit, I'm looking on people's um, comments on YouTube and other blogs and stuff, and people are like, "Oh, I can't wait till uh, Lisk launches on the 24th so they can sell their Lisk off." And invest in the DAO tokens or sell their list off and invest into wave tokens or this other one that I just found out about which is called the, the, the rise platform this same thing as uh, Lisk, but you can code and you can program it a code and you can program it in three different scripting languages so that um, that area of smart contracts and cryptocurrency is kind of getting a little full in my opinion but um then we have the dow tokens i think people are going to be holding on to those like gold um and people are going to people are going to split from it though because people might not agree with whatever gets passed or voted on so people are going to get split from it split from it but most likely they're going to split and once they split their dao dao, DAO tokens get burned so that would be um, deflationary. So, um, yeah. Then we have the Waze platform. The Waze platform, I think, is going to suck out a lot of the market cap from uh, NXT, in my opinion. Um, especially once, if, if, Sasha uh, sticks to his word and um, moves in a fast pace. Once they see how fast and um, how fast adoption is going for waves, they're going to switch over a lot of NXT people because Sasha was already in NXT and they know and he, he's, he made coin on that and a couple different other projects. So yeah, that's going to suck up a lot of the volume out of NXT and maybe even Counterparty. Not so much counterparty. Counterparty has 
that be going because it's kind of it's in the it's in it's on the Bitcoin side, so it has that that um speculation back in it. But yeah, so yeah, so my prediction for the next three months is gonna be a lot of be a lot of money to be made within the up and downs of Lisk. I think the DAO tokens people are gonna be holding on to those like they're gold. And uh, Waze platform is just to be seen uh, if Sasha's um, and the Waves team do what they say they're going to do. It's going to be, I think it's going to be a really big coin. Uh, last but not least, we got the Dow, the Digix Dow. Uh, I already made a video on that. Uh, I don't know. And then I don't like the fact that it's not on. It's not on Bitrix. It's not on Poloniex. It's not on. It's not on anywhere. It's it's just on um Open Ledger. So I don't really like that. But um yeah, that's just my opinion, guys. Um, like, subscribe, give me a thumbs up, thumbs down, share this with your friends. Um, leave your comments below. Tell me what you think is gonna happen in the next uh, three to four months in crypto, and uh, chase those. Keep chasing those coins.